back this part three to our watch along of Brahma Yaga. Un, dos, tres. If you haven't <clears> seen, if you uh, seen this on YouTube, you're gonna see a very cut up version. It's just like the other two parts. If you haven't seen the other two parts, please go watch the other two parts. Uh, if you're seeing this on YouTube, you're going to see a very cut-up version. Uh, if you like to see a full uncut version, though, you can head over to Patreon. I'll put a link in the description below, pinned comments, so you can go check that out. And, uh, at the end of this part, we will talk about the movie and review it. Maybe. Now let's finally get into this. <laughs> There's a lot of choking in this film. <laughs> The deceit. <laughs> this is a deceit. That's wonderful. This is practical too. It's great. Yep. Getting smaller on him. Welcome to the descent into madness. This is great. That's not good. <laughs> You're gonna become. He's gonna make you right into a dosa. Oh! 3PO got it shut off. I do think this all goes back to the stuff they're eating and drinking. Most likely. <laughs> Indy, the torch is going out. Ooh, he's gonna cut his hand. Oh, great sound. Didn't need to do that, but you did. It's not your dad. That's not your dad. And the poor Vigrapole, Yan and the Tandrang and the Vion Verdu. The Iron and the Member and the Menikin of Nayaria. And the other Nudil at a tear in yell. Even in the cold. Get to the Kathar Chalandra. He's a clear and a cover. <laughs> Poor goblin. Gross. That's awesome. And again, the sound. 
Oh, that's awesome. The Udukai. It's her. She's, yeah. She's the goblin queen. Yeah, yeah. Or not. I don't know. That's Voldemort. <laughs> And this is how it's been going on for ages. Throw it into the flames of Mordor! Ow! Goblin, 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 go get the ring! Ow! Mama Sita, this is like the fight in the Revenant. Ow! That's gonna leave a mark. Oh, he's biting his side! Mm -hmm. It was. He's wearing the ring. Oh, he has the. film yeah um it did not go where i thought it was gonna go not at all clearly it had obviously the portuguese conquered kerala mm -hmm. a lot of the southern parts of india yeah so there was clearly something there of why they couldn't cross a river mm -hmm. and it being the portuguese that mm -hmm. they got right when they got to the other side of the river um so there's a lot there that needs unpacking yeah um but man what a film 
I it it had me the whole time. Oh, it did. It had me too as well. And I wonder with that ending. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 it it just it is the. It's. I think there's so much in the story that is above my head, particularly the symbolism of Brahma Yugam and the the, the age of madness. Because the first time we were introduced to that, I always go back to it because it was my first introduction of it. Was the ages that that Pankaj's character talks about in Sacred Games. Mm. And I don't know how much of the film is just a, a, a metaphorical representation of the age itself. I also wonder how much of it is a, especially with the Portuguese colonizers there, and how much of it is a, you know, a message about how much of the past are you going to accept or deny and how much are you going to relegate to the place of superstition versus truth and who's the one that gets to dictate that story because interestingly and i don't know if this was intended with the portuguese shoulders so showing up the entirety of what we just seen from their vantage point is guys nuts yeah in other words everything that this represents just superstition and nutbags. Move on. Yeah. I'm versus sure. versus the power and the depth and the yeah. right. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know specifically because in um, the anime that I watch, uh, Ramayana, um, and then with the Prabhas rendition of that, and then we've seen it a few times. There is a character that is a deceiver, so I'm wondering if that's. Right, kind of who they were, kind of yeah, um, playing after. I, that's my only knowledge of all that is what I've seen in those films. Um, and he was able to do stuff like that and um, create illusions. Um, just off the film itself, though. Um, I mean, that's Oscar worthy sound design, set design, yeah, score, um. Visuals, production, yeah, design. Just every, everything about it is superlative. Um, everything about it is superlative. And the performances are, are yeah, great. Mahmoudi is Yeah, Mahmoudi's just, uh, he's so good. Um, and then Ar Arjun and uh, Siddharth as well. They did a great job. Um, one so did I, she. Yeah. I really, and she was so, I'm, she was exactly what she needed to be. Very intriguing I'm and I'm confused by her. I am as well. It, it, I don't know what she was i because at first she was kind of luring the other guy whoever that was in um she was a temptress i th and then she killed him i think i think she is a separate but she had sex with mamuts she did so i think she's linked but separate and she is another embodiment of of a um, legend, a mythology that is connected to it, and they have a relationship in some way. Um, Do you think she's another goblin or kind of creature? And yeah, I think she's. I think she's a separate. Like she's an evil spirit. And the our main guy um, had went through another thing, and this is kind of his purgatory almost. Um, that was something he went through and he was with this other guy and he died, escaped, and then now he's went and wandered off into Mamudi and this is just another illusion that the, the guy was playing um, on him because he said, he, I forgot my mother's name. I don't... Mm -hmm. So was that another full experience that he had? Right. With that entity? I don't know what she was though. Yeah. I, uh, Clearly she had a relationship of some kind with the goblin mm -hmm. um what the symbolism was of the i mean he ground up bones mm -hmm. and rubbed them on himself and that attracted her well that was um i, I forget what they're called scythe played one in a movie we've seen it many times they're um uh, part of hindu um I, I i don't know that but they cover themselves in ash they have long hair dreads oh um, yeah 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 they cover themselves in ash though. right so that, I thought that was that kind of symbolism of that, but I don't know for sure. Um, 
And then obviously symbolism that we would take just based on what we've seen before of the, the, the fact that all of this, all of it, including the Portuguese, it's all of this is driven by men needing power mm -hmm. and what havoc is wrecked in the, in, because the cook, he wasn't intending to get them free. He was intending to use him, the singer to get the ring and, and usurp and become the one in power. It was never about liberating them from the goblin. Yeah. It was about, I want to be the head um, and give into the ring of power per se. Yeah. And the, and the, the, the goblin just enjoyed watching the men fight over it. Mm -hmm. Didn't interfere. Yeah. Just was watching it, enjoying every second of it. And then now I'm guessing he's just going to continue doing. Yeah. What he has been doing. Yeah. Because now he's, he took the form of the. the, the yeah. I love that reflection guy. shot. And basically base and the look in the camera basically says, doesn't matter who's comes here and who doesn't come here. All of this stuff was here before you and it's going to be here after you're gone. And continue. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure there's a ton we just don't get or misinterpret, but it's, it's as thick and heavy, I think with symbolism as Rorschach, but just not as, uh, evident at least to our our mindset yeah and it is definitely at its core it's a kind of a haunted house movie yeah <laughs> um definitely a, a thrill that keeps you the suspense going the entire time great performances very well directed and shot christo uh, xavier did a magnificent score yes shanad jalal cinematography Pro production design um, is the whole production design team jyotish shankar and then Who's the sound, sound design? Sound design, sound design, sound design. Just off the charts, great sound design. And visual effects and makeup all was, everything was superlative. Okay, but, yeah, it was a nice, nice big sound crew. Uh, I don't know. Med, I mean, the, the primary credit on IMDb for the uh, sound designer, primary is uh, Jayedevan Chakadath, but there's a Dolby Atmos engineer that was involved. Uh, another sound, there's several sound mixers, associate sound designers. Bunch of people who did Kantara as well. Yeah, just the sound design is as good as it gets. And the entire sound design team was Oscar level. Yeah. Um, probably the best Indian film of the year so far. I, I, I'm trying yeah. to think if, if I'm forgetting. No, this is at the top. getting anything but man yeah it definitely gives you a lot to think about easily could have you could watch it again and catch a bunch of stuff yeah um that you didn't catch the first time yeah um and what they're doing and it's and it's just the tension just stayed there the whole time yeah it never let up kept you engaged the yeah. entire time well, you, you want you were constantly wanting to know what's going on what's behind that door What's going on? What's he? What's in that food? What? What's just and so discomforting all the time. Yeah, clearly, because I didn't think my theory was too far off of kind of like a purgatory, hell, kind of kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But then the Portuguese thing really threw me. Maybe that is the hell, the 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 colonization of it all. Yeah, I'd like to know. The, the, the primary thing is what I had said is I sense that the whole Portuguese presence is just another example of colonization. Oh, clearly. Completely yeah. taking. At first I thought it was British and then I was like, oh, off. this is Malia, Kerala. So. I mean, we just, we just sat through almost two and a half hours of this rich, overwhelmingly incredible story of mythology and superstition and spiritism and religion and the demonic and when reality and then it's just in one split second just <clears throat> he was a madman move on yeah they definitely shot it down pretty quick exactly literally shot it down literally just took everything that we were just exposed to of history and and culture and just went yeah, move on let it go down the river I love a good film that makes you uh, contemplate and keep thinking. Absolutely. I want to watch this with Indrani. I'd love yeah. to know some things that she'll see that I would never it's, see. Uh, it definitely is one of those films, just like Rorschach, that you'd like to watch with a bunch of people and get everybody's 
kind of take. Yeah, on. the biggest the biggest take I would want to get are from Malayalis. Yeah, I, I suspect that's the richest frame of reference that you would get that would that they they'd be the able culture, to explain so the, many things that we the missed. history of the yeah, colonization yeah, yeah, of yeah, the yeah, Portuguese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, in that area. But what's great is that irrespective of that, you could watch this. This could be somebody's first Indian film, and I think it would intrigue them so much that it would make them want to know more and go, what was all of that about? I want to know what the heck all of that was about. Well, I've said many times that if there, and it, it's happening, if there's one industry that could take horror by the balls, it's the, yeah. the element yeah, industry. Yeah, was really good. And they are. Um, it might be, I mean, it's still not like, Pure, pure horror in terms of like scares every every five seconds. But it mm. is horror. It's horror. It, it is horror. Yeah. It had a couple of jump scares. It ends in the in the horror yeah. for sure. And uh, it's one of the better. I mean, when I've told you how many times, <sighs> seven out of ten times you go to watch a horror film and you're watching it and you go, oh, great. Yeah. So when you get a gem, it's a keeper. And this is a, this is a keeper. Best, if not the best horror we've seen. Uh, very, uh, yeah. very Tomb Bad vibes as well. Yeah. Hey, I think that one almost had a, if it was a goblin or a witch or something in it from what I remember, right? Yeah. I haven't seen that since the first year. Been a while. I'd like to revisit that. We it's should. been a long time. Yeah, it's been 2019. Yeah, I think that was the first year. Yeah. Um, that was a good one. Uh, this was, this was, this was a lot of fun. Very good. Uh, finally, I'm glad we finally got to see it. Me too. Obviously, people have been asking and we wanted to see it in theaters, but, uh, you know, Malayalam films just don't come near us, sadly. Yeah. Um. Anyways. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw a very cut-up version. If you'd like to see a full uncut version of this and other Malayali reactions, um, please go uh, to Patreon and uh, check that out. Put a link in the description pinned comment. Let us know what our next Mamoudi film should be and next Malayalam watch-along uh, that we should watch is. And um, let us know your thoughts, theories, and um, everything on the movie uh, and anything else we need to know down below. On to the next watch-along!